Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to more uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! It's me, Cooper, and I would like to apologize if you can hear an AC in the background. I will die if I don't have it on. It is 106 degrees outside. My house is about 106 degrees inside. I will not survive if I don't have my AC on, so I apologize for the sound. I hope we can get past that. Let's just have some fun by taking down a Shizu. So a Shizu Ishtar, she is a powerful duelist because she makes us use no spells and traps, and we are going to do our best to keep taking her down. So far, we've had no real problems taking her down. It's just uh, we get lucky sometimes when she plays weak monsters like that. Um, it's just the fact that we have no back row to stop her back row is quite annoying. We're going to go ahead and start with good old Shining Angel. Shining Angel is going to uh, do absolutely everything because Life Absorbing Machine. I think she only runs that for her Dark Elf card. And I'm not really afraid of Kuwagata Alpha. Even if she does play a card to kill Shining Angel, that's part of the plan too. We're ready for anything. So, let's see what she ends up doing. Being a Tier 5 opponent, we expect great things from her. But, uh, yep, there it is, Dark Elf. Okay. Yeah, we expect great things from her, but we're pretty much equipped to take her down. I know there's going to be some situations where we do fail, but overall, we're pretty much ready. Um, I'm going to go with another Shining Angel, because I plan on going aggressive next turn. I know they're going to heal half their life points back, get 500 points back, because they paid 1,000 this turn. But, before that, I'm going to... There it is. I'm going to murder. <laughs> I got myself Cyber Tech alligator and by getting my tribute monster i feel a lot safer i was hoping for any tribute monster and if not i was going to yomi ship but you know this will this will do the job a lot better i don't lose a lot of life points in this case and a full monster i mean i do tribute shining angel but who needs him I, he already did his job he special summoned himself so i could tribute him that's literally all we wanted him for so yay live absorbing machine will do the 500 points she is a healing deck bet there's the freaking dark hole all right, well, there's a card I can't beat because Dark Hole is stupid. When I'm not allowed to have any craziness, she gets it. So I got to hope I could top deck a decent card. I know I have Spear Dragon, but that's not a card I like to use super early. Um, Guardian Sphinx is also a good tribute monster, but I don't think we need it right now. Um, yeah, we'll go with Spear Dragon. Spear Dragon's going to help out quite a bit. If we have a monster advantage, then we can go with Guardian Sphinx. But let's just take out this thing and hope to God that she does not have another Dark Elf hiding in her hand. Because I think that's the only thing she'll play in attack mode against us. Unless she runs 19 beaters, then she'll also play those, like Force Raider or Gemini Elf. But we'll see. Okay, so far so good. She plays defensively. Could be a flip effect, we do not know. Hey, my Karibo card! I just like that card. Uh, we're going to go ahead and summon Hayabusa Knight, just so we can do 2,000 damage. On top of whatever piercing we end up doing to her. We know she was going to try and stall us, so I'm glad we're at least doing something to her. Uh, please no Kisatai. It's Nimble Bitch. Okay. Nimble Mamanga is annoying, but I'm not going to give her any monsters to tribute because Hayabusa Knight will not allow it. Hayabusa Knight is fully against Nimble Mamanga, and he will destroy both of them in order to protect me. Alright, Hayabusa Knight gets rid of Nimble Mamanga. And Hayabusa Knight gets rid of Nimble Mamanga. This is also why it takes a little longer to beat a Shizu because she keeps healing herself, and there's nothing we can do about it. I have no spells or traps. At best, I can Guardian Sphinx, but then if she plays a Spar Trap to kill it, then it was all for nothing. Just like how I lost my Cyber Tech to a Dark Hole. This could all go away to a Raigeki one day. And there's the second Dark Elf I did not want to see. The only good news is she has to pay 500 life points, so that, that works a little bit for me. Uh, yeah, Karibo, we don't want to take that thousand damage. Why don't you go to the grave? It's a little too much damage in my opinion. Alright, since you got another Dark Elf, there's not much we could do with our basic monsters. We're going to be forced to Yomi. I was thinking Guardian Sphinx, but it's too slow. I don't want to be slow. I want to be fast. Yomi Ship, it's your time to shine. She's only got one Dark Elf left in her deck, and we don't want to give her a chance to Tribute Summon. So, let's just go ahead and do this. Ah, oh, I take so much damage. But she also dies, so it's okay. And I'm finally doing some damage to her. I've left her with four, no, 5,000... 350 or 250 that's not too bad 5,250 life points and I'll get her next turn unless she draws her final dark elf card that's what I thought but I already got past nimble mamanga so there's not much left I'm afraid of I could stop anything and I got Lejin in hand Lejin's gonna help me out 
All right, Spear Dragon, you go do piercing damage. Please don't be Kisatai. I mean, even if you are Kisatai, we'll, we'll kill you. Fire Princess, one of her only good defense monsters. All right, Spear Dragon will fall back into defense mode. Lejin, the mystical genie of the lamp, will now go in and do some big damage. Thank you, Lejin. Such a good old school card. Freaking Kaiba, man. Always had the good old school stuff. I guess when you own one of the best companies that supports freaking cards, you get all the best cards. Except the tune set. You don't get the tune set. All right, Mystic Tomato. Let's see what we got. Flying Kamakiri, Guardian Sphinx, Amazon Archer. Yep. That's an easy choice. Amazon Archer is here. Should be Amazonus Archer, but whatever. Even back then, they should have called it Amazonus Archer, but still. They didn't know. We're going to go ahead and destroy Dunami's the Dark Witch. She should have crashed with Legim while she had the chance. And it looks like Archer is going to win us the duel without its effect. It's just straight up going to shoot them. Rather than using its effect to shoot them. Alright, here we go. And with that beautiful damage, she has fallen. We've taken down good old Ashizu, which means we get a pack. And the pack we're going to start spamming is probably this one. And we get Beast King of the Swamps. That's pretty good. Sword of the Deep Sea. Meh. Beast King is pretty good, though. At least we have a fusion substitute for when I want to make another fusion deck, which I do want to do. Don't, uh, don't pretend like I don't. I really do want to make another fusion deck. All right, starting the duel. Let's see what I can draw. Shining Angel's good. Um, Bazoo is good. Cure Mermaid is good. I'm going to start with Flying Kamakiri. I only do this because I do run Garuda, and maybe one day I want a special summon Garuda, so got to be ready for that. Got a couple back row cards. We got Dunami's the Dark Witch. Flying Kamakiri's going to go ahead and get destroyed. Even though his death is sad, it's exactly what we need, so I'm going for a special summon. And we're going to get a Flying Kamakiri. That's right, they can only search themselves. I don't have any other weak wind monsters. I don't like that she has two back row, but there's nothing I can do about it. Let's just hope it's all healing stuff. Cyberjar is not the worst, but I could go for Bazoo. It's not the smartest play, but it's not the worst play. He gets 300 attack. Yeah, he gets enough attack to kill off uh, a Dunames, but not enough to stop a Dark Elf if she's holding one back. You know what? Let's just... I'm going to draw five monsters. Let's just Cyberjar. We know what we're getting. She might get spells and traps, and then I get to see her hand, but I want to... I want to just get five monsters on the field. And we get to kill Mary. Ah, oh, shit. She wanted that. She played me. She knew. She tributed a stronger monster to do this. All right. Well, that's all well and good. Yeah, I might as well special summon thin out my deck so I don't draw that. I don't want to draw Flying Kamakiri after all. I'm about to kill all my monsters. And then I'm going to summon five monsters in one turn. And then she's going to have to find a way to deal with it. The gym would have been nice. Damn. She should have attacked my Cyber Jar. All right. Let's see what we get. With enough luck, we'll win in one turn, depending on what those traps are. Shining Angel, just do your best. You're not what I wanted, though. Spear Dragon, yes, you are what I wanted. Thank you, Spear Dragon. What else do we got? Jinzo for later. So Cannon Soldier, yes, that's what we're talking about here. That is beautiful. Sangam, we'll take it. That was perfect. That was as good as it was going to get, right? Fuck me. Okay. Well, now it doesn't matter what I summon. Whatever I summon, it's going to die. Oh, that sucks. I am going to still pick Jinzo, though. I'm about to get Raigeki and Dark Hold. That breaks my heart. All right, we're going to summon Jinzo. Jinzo's going to freak out, activate his effect with Sangan. Sangan's going to let me search. I'm going to want... Uh Exiled Amazon. Let's go with Exile Force just in case. I'm about to lose everything, so I'm going to need some backups. Uh, we're going to go ahead and enter the battle phase since we already used our summon. Uh, we're going to use Spear Dragon to kill off uh, our defensive card, Fire Princess. There we go. And at least we did a ton of damage before losing everything. My only hope is that she uses uh, Raigeki and not Dark Hole. Because if she uses Regeki, then later on Darkhold might still benefit us in the end. Not by a lot, but just by a little. And I'll take a little. And I know what you're all thinking. Cooper, you could always just tribute all your monsters for a ton of damage. And then maybe you'll be close to winning. You're right, I could. Problem. If I do that, 
then they won't use the spell card, and then I have the same problem than uh, the following turn. The only difference is I won't have freaking uh, anything to do with it. It's okay. I don't mind. I do want to send a monster to the grave, though. That will help me in the end. Yo, Faux Turtle, go take a little dirt nap real quick. We're going to take care of this. All right, Raigeki. Come on, play Raigeki. Okay, despite having those cards in their hand, they decided to lose the duel. See, sometimes if you just believe in... You guys that were telling me to do the other thing, you're crazy. Just trust that the AI will be stupid and you win the duel. Because now I can summon that exile force I searched. I can kill the face down without letting it flip or be destroyed by battle. So if it was a nimble Momonga, I'm fine. Then I attack with every monster I have left for game. In fact, I only need to attack with two. So thanks to the AI being poorly programmed, I'm able to win the duel. And it didn't even take that long. It's a win-win. Alright. Let's take you out and take you out. Heck yeah. A Shizu falls again and my life gets better and better. Heck yeah. Alright, Ashizu, let's see if we can get the cards I want. Uh, Dream Clown! That's what I've been looking for! You little bastard hiding from me. Making me cry. Just waiting for you to come into existence. I don't I do need the other clown. This is also a good card. Uh, I do need the other clowns, but that's a start. That's my ace monster, my favorite card from the clowns. My best card is Bickery Box, my favorite is Dream Clown, and my favorite card of all time is uh, Black Skull Dragon. So let's just go ahead, we're gonna go to our trunk. We're gonna sort by attack, even though Dream Clown's pretty weak. He's amazing in other ways. It's not about the attacks, Dad. And I'm just gonna add him. I know our deck's getting a little bricky, but Dream Clown would never brick up a deck. He's only helpful. Yep. Dream Clown would never brick up a deck. That's our boy right there. Alright, Ashizu, time to show you the power of my boy. My little baby. He's gonna take you down. Alright, hopefully I drew Giant Rat. Oh, she went first, actually. Oh, never mind. I'm fine with this. I mean, that's a lot of back row, but I'm fine with that monster. I could kill it with just about anything. I could even kill it with a Mystic Tomato. Let's see how she reacts to this. Okay, no spell absorbing machine. Now I'm a little worried about this attack. Attack goes through. How much are we going to do? We take 500 damage. And she heals a lot. Fire Princess, you may be annoying, but we, uh, we still got rid of you. Luminous Sp Since when did you have that field spell? That is the first time she's ever played that field spell. It's like she's using a different deck all of a sudden. Um, don't currently have a light monster in my hand, though I wish I did. Lejin should be fine enough to hold on, you know, hold the fort down. She could have a second Fire Princess, but the odds are so low that I'm not even going to go for it. Uh, she did have a second Enchanted Javelin, though. There's no way she start with two Enchanted Javelins and two Fire Princes. See, I'm right. I would have been insane. Legend's gonna go in though. She started with triple enchanted javelin. Holy crap, she's gonna be healing a shit ton. All right, that is kind of surprising. I did not expect that. 100% did not expect triple enchanted javelin. That's 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 some freaking odds right there. And if that's a nibble of manga, then it was the best start ever for her, except for the fact that I drew Dark Ruler Hades. That changes everything. Dark Ruler Hades will stop Nimble Momonga. It can't stop Kisatai because it never destroys it, but it does destroy Nimble Momonga, so... This changes the whole duel. Dark Ruler Hades, get in there. No, I lost everything! You can't do this to me! Legit- You topped edge mirror- She has had the perfect hand so far. Alright, it was just a water girl anyway, but she has had, other than her monster, she's had the perfect hand. Literally, best back row for healing, best back row for damage, uh, best back row for everything. Cybertech, good to see your face. You and Summon Skull will get along just fine. Flying Kamakiris, get your asses in there. You gotta destroy this girl. This water girl. The second she gets Dunamis, the Dark Witch, I'll have to start sweating, but I'm not going to, because I'm going to use it for tribute. My Flying Kamakiri, that is. And she heals again. Yes, of course she does. Okay. Okay, she's out of cards. She's used all her heals. It got her above 12,000 life points, which is impressive. But now she's all mine. Okay, she does. It's not Mirror Force, so it's fine. Well, unless they run two. And honestly, it's possible for them to run two nowadays, so that's horrifying. 
We're just going to summon a rat. And that's also annoying, but it's fine. I'd rather she play that. We have the rat. We have the Kamakiri. And Giant Rat loves Dream Clowns. So if they ever attack my Giant Rat, it'll be a dream come true. Let's see what happens, though. We're going to end our turn, and she's going to draw. Please don't be what I think it is. Don't be a Doonami's the Dark Witch, which is, fine, funny enough, a light monster. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Could be a Nimble Momonga, though. Could be a Fire Princess. There's lots of bad pro uh, options for us. I don't believe it's a Fire Princess, but we're just going to take no risk on this. We're going to go for Exile Force. Because if it is Nimble Momonga... If it's a normal monster, I messed up. But if it's anything else, I'll be okay. I'm not even going to check it. We're just going to assume we did the right thing. Let's just assume we did the right thing so I, in my heart I feel good. Because if I, if I find out I did the wrong thing, it's going to make me feel bad. And I don't want to feel bad. All right, ended turn. Let's see what they say. Five hundred life point gain. More monsters. I need to find a way to get rid of that card too. Interestingly enough, I could do this strategy. It's a little strange, but Banisher of Light, thanks to the field spell, is part of my strat to make sure Nimble Momonga can't do its job. And there it is. You little bitch, go get removed from play where you can't activate your effect. <laughs> and that's how we play the game, everybody. I mean, if I really thought it was Nimble Momonga, I should have attacked with Banisher. But still, I just wrecked you. That is how you wreck your opponent, everyone. And next turn, there's no card she could draw. Dark Hole and Regeki. But there's no card she could draw that I'm afraid of. That's right. Mary the Fallen will not help you. Another cyber tech alligator. Hooray. Let's just go for goblins and win this duel. All right, guy. Goblins are here. All my monsters are here. Let's do tons of damage. Actually, since Banisher is one of my monsters, it might not end the duel. <laughs> I didn't even think about this. I don't think Banisher is enough. I have 2,900 damage left. Yeah, it's not. Shit. Banisher of Light. Great. You know what? It stopped Nimble Momonga, so in the long run, it really did stop us from you know ma making this duel take forever. So overall, I'm very happy with him. It's just, you know, I need to find a way to buff up his damage without using spells or traps. I have to use her spells and traps. Solemn Wishes activate. She gets a little heal. And she plays defensively. Okay. Well, it could be another Nimble Momonga just top decked. But I just believe it's going to be a problem. So I'm just going to summon Summon Skull. Summon Skull is going to get rid of our... Goblin attack force once and for all. Summon Skull is going to deal with the face down monster so that we can win the duel. Alright, who was it? It was Kisatai. That card's a problem. But it won't have time to be a problem, so we're going to just kill. Alright, there we go, guys. We have won. A Shizu Ishtar is three wins away from getting knocked out. And then I never... Well, I probably will duel her again, but I never have to duel her again with this deck. Penguin Soldier. That is a very good card to draw. On top of that, we got Gazelle, the King of the Mythical Beast, which is just a cool card that Yugi used. Plus, a Fusion Substitute. Heck yeah. Everything's going the right way. And do you know what? I actually do not have enough time for another duel. I have to go to dinner. My family's taking me out to a birthday dinner, so I gotta go. Thank you all for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe. Sorry for the early episode. It's my birthday.